After thinking this through, Marshal Uncle Wong closed his eyes to rest. It was only when the white dragon suddenly stopped and almost made him lose his balance that Marshal Uncle Wong opened his eyes. However, he felt that the white dragon's body under him seemed to be trembling. Run, why did you stop running? Li Zhengye was still mocking Zhao Yang when he saw a huge Ba Serpent suddenly appear beside Zhao Yang. When the Ba Serpent raised its head, it almost covered the entire moonlight. Ba Serpent. Li Zhengye had heard of the Ba Serpent disaster in the Northern Kingdom. Didn't that Ba Serpent die? Why was there another one? And why was its body so huge? It was simply unimaginable. I was waiting for you here to deliver a huge gift to the Yufu Kingdom. Those who humiliate others will be humiliated. Zhao Yang's lips curled up into a smile. She was laughing at Li Zhengye for being a frog at the bottom of a well. She dared to chase away their envoy. Do they think that she does not have any trump cards? Go! Zhao Yang shouted at the Ba Serpent. Her big brother had once told her that if the Northern Kingdom was in danger, she should go deep into the wilderness and shout for the Ba Serpent. As expected, the Ba Serpent was very obedient. Not only did it not attack her after seeing her, it even rushed to her side to protect her. White dragon, go, bite it to death. Bite this beast to death. Let it see how powerful you are. Li Jingye did not feel it at all. The fact that the white flood dragon's entire body was curled up into a ball, and it even hid the part of its tail that was broken. It was afraid. It was really afraid of this Ba Serpent. It had already escaped from the wilderness, so why did it come back? At this moment, the white flood dragon felt despair in its heart. It wished it could shake Li Zhengye off. Li Zhengye desperately urged the white dragon forward, only to see the disdain and contempt in the Ba Serpent's eyes. It was a defeated opponent who had lost its tail. If its master had not summoned it back then, this fellow would be in its stomach now. Idiot, go. They're all vicious beasts. You're still a flood dragon. Dragon, go. Li Zhengye cursed at the white dragon. He wanted to urge it again, but he felt his feet slip. The white dragon had actually thrown him off. Other than Marshal Uncle Wong who landed gracefully, the remaining three Grotto Heaven Realm experts were also thrown down by the white flood dragon. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. The Ba Serpent made a sound, and the white dragon that was originally in midair fell down. Its proud head was already lowered, and it wanted to crawl in front of the Ba Serpent. It even twisted its body and tried its best to please the Ba Serpent. Li Zhengye was dumbfounded when he saw this scene. What was going on? The auspicious sign of the Yufu Kingdom, the white dragon that was worshipped by the Yufu Kingdom, was actually so weak in front of this ugly Ba Serpent? His lungs were about to explode from anger. Li Zhengye was so angry that he wanted to slap the white dragon, but he did not dare to. This white dragon was not to be trifled with. He couldn't control the white dragon if it were to fall out with him. He could only turn his face to the side and try his best not to look at it. Your Majesty, let us deal with that woman. Save your strength for the bridal chamber. Li Zhengye was followed by three martial saints, two first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts, and one second-stage Grotto Heaven Realm expert. They were in charge of protecting Li Zhengye, the emperor. After all, apart from being a disciple of the Yufu Mountain, Li Zhengye was also the emperor of the Yufu kingdom. He was also the person they were trying to protect. Taking advantage of the fact that the experts of the northern kingdom had yet to arrive, they had to quickly end the battle and deal with this great empress Xiaoyang, so that the emperor of the Yufu kingdom could get what he wanted. This trip would not be in vain then. Go. Let's go together. Don't hurt her body, or else. He would not be able to enjoy the consummation if the beauty had wounds on her body, that was what Li Zhengye wanted to remind them. Unfortunately, before he could finish his sentence, he heard Marshal Uncle Wong roar. Don't panic. Stand behind me and protect his majesty. Countless pairs of blood-red eyes seemed to pop out of the darkness. The moonlight was originally blocked by the Ba Serpent. Only the strongest Marshal Uncle Wong realized that they were already surrounded by the beast tide. Li Zhengye only felt that it was raining and that the rain was falling on his face. He touched it with his hand and felt extremely devastated. How was it raining? It was clearly the saliva of a vicious beast dripping onto his face. There were also vicious beasts that treated him as food. Their saliva dripped onto his face. 
Would he become food for the vicious beasts? Li Zhengye was about to go crazy. He was the ruler of the Yufu kingdom and also a martial saint. He had stood at the peak of the world and enjoyed all the glory. When would there be vicious beasts drooling over him? Saliva had dripped onto his face. Do those vicious beasts treat him as the most delicious food? This, this, this. In an instant, Li Zhengye was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. He had never suffered such humiliation in his life. Escort his majesty away. I'll cut off the rear. The more martial Uncle Wang looked, the more he felt that something was wrong. There were so many eyes and a terrifying aura. How many vicious beasts had come? No matter how powerful he was, he could not guarantee Li Zhengye's safety against so many vicious beasts. Moreover, the boss serpent had been eyeing him covetously, as if it wanted to swallow him at any time. The Ba Serpent that the Ba Serpent clan originally worshipped was fed by living people. It was said that the stronger a martial artist was, the more the Ba Serpent liked them. No wonder it kept staring at him. He was the strongest among this group of people. There were many ways to die, but Martial Uncle Wong was absolutely unwilling to be devoured by the Ba Serpent as food. Therefore, under such circumstances, he could only escape. It was a great blessing to be able to escape. Unfortunately, the reality was too cruel. This was the wilderness, the territory of the Ba Serpent. The key was that Li Yuanqing was guarding the side. Anyone would dare to trample on the Northern Kingdom in the future if they let these people escape. Therefore, these people were destined to not be able to leave. Before Zhao Yang could make a move, the two first stage Grotto Heaven Realm Martial Saints were scratched by Hu Jujio's claws and thrown into the pile of vicious beasts. Then, there were endless screams. Their cries quickly stopped in the darkness. Then, there was no more breath. Something had entangled Li Jingye in the darkness. He could not escape even if he wanted to. Although he was also a martial saint, he was like an ordinary person when he was surrounded by vicious beasts. He shouted desperately, Martial Uncle Wong, save me. Although Martial Uncle Wong was extremely powerful, he never dreamed that great Empress Zhao Yang could command the vicious beasts of the wilderness. He had been too careless. Two experts had already died tragically. He could only escape with Li Zhengye at this moment. Therefore, in the next moment, he lifted Li Zhengye up and was about to bring him out of the wilderness alone when he heard the wail of another second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. Don't leave me. No matter how strong a martial saint was, when faced with such a terrifying beast tide, they would panic at the thought of becoming food for vicious beasts. Uncle Master Wong lifted the expert with his other hand, making him happy. In the next moment, he was thrown into the middle of the beast tide. It's better for you to die than me. The beast tide was so ferocious. They would only have a chance to escape if they used him to attract the ferocious beast's gazes. Therefore, Marshal Uncle Wong did not hesitate to push his companion to death. He would just leave with Li Zhengye. As long as Li Zhengye, the emperor of the Yufu kingdom, was alive, he would be able to obtain what he wanted. He did not care about the lives of others. Marshal Uncle Wong was a third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. Even if he carried Li Zhengye with one hand, he could immediately escape the siege of countless vicious beasts after soaring into the sky. After all, an expert like him was still very strong. Martial Uncle Wong heaved a long sigh of relief. He felt that he was already out of danger. Although he had lost three experts, Li Zhengye was not dead. Things were not as bad as they seemed. Unfortunately, one of the swords seemed to have eyes and stabbed him, while the other demon slayer sword stabbed Li Zhengye. Martial Uncle Wong, who was in Madeir, floated down like a dead leaf. Everyone who had rushed to the wilderness from the Northern Kingdom saw this scene. Because this scene was simply blinding under the moonlight. This would be a scene that some people would never forget for the rest of their lives. A third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert had been stabbed to death without any warning. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, no one would have believed it. A third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert couldn't even dodge a sword? Who? Whose sword was it? Was he actually so powerful? And why did the countless vicious beasts in the wilderness gathered? Who would be so generous? Could it be their great Empress Xiaoyang? But great Empress Xiaoyang's realm was so low. There were too many doubts hidden in everyone's hearts, 
making them unwilling to disperse for a long time. Wang Xian and the others led some martial artists and charged into the beast tide, shouting for Her Majesty, wanting to meet up with Zhao Yang. Soon, they saw Great Empress Zhao Yang and noticed that the terrifying beast tide had already subsided. If not for the countless smelly saliva on the ground and the scales or feathers of some unknown vicious beast, everyone would have thought that they were dreaming. I'm here. Zhao Yang's voice was very calm. Not far away from her, there was a second-grade grotto heaven martial saint with a pale face who could barely stand. This person was the one martial Uncle Wong had thrown into the beast tide. He was originally a consecrator of the Yufu kingdom and was in charge of protecting Li Zhengya. However, at the critical moment, he was abandoned and thrown into the vicious beasts. He was trapped by the vicious beasts and chose to surrender to Great Empress Zhaoyang. He expressed his willingness to sign a contract with the Empress and stay in the Northern Kingdom. Actually, he was scared to death. If he didn't surrender and stay here, would he be pierced through like Mariel Uncle Wong? It's good that your majesty is fine. This, the beast tide? I'm sorry for being late. Wang Xian led a group of martial artists who had rushed over and knelt in front of the Empress. At this moment, the shock in their hearts could no longer be described with words. Five people from the Yufu kingdom had come. Other than one who had surrendered, the rest were all dead. The four people who died were not ordinary people. They were all martial saints. There was even a third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. Even if the Yufu kingdom was backed by the Yufu mountain and was stronger than the northern kingdom, four experts had died at once, and there was even the emperor of the Yufu kingdom. This was a huge matter. It's fine. With the guardian of the northern kingdom around, I'm fine. I've made you worry. Li Zhengye is the ruler of a country after all. Get someone to send these corpses back to the Yufu kingdom. Also, send a message over. Those who offend my northern kingdom will be executed no matter how far away they are. They deserve it. Zhao Yang was very calm and firm, but no one dared to object. After today's battle, the Northern Kingdom would make all the experts in the world look at it in a different light. The once powerful and arrogant Yufu Kingdom had paid a heavy price this time. It was estimated that no one would dare to be disrespectful to the Northern Kingdom for a long time to come. The Guardian attacked? A martial saint shouted in surprise. His face was abnormally excited. To them, the Guardian of the Northern Kingdom was the most mysterious and powerful existence. All the martial artists who followed Wang Xian here were in an uproar. Although they did not see the guardian attack with their own eyes, these experts were all dead. This method made people click their tongues. It reminded them of how the seven great clans had collapsed overnight many years ago. It was the guardian of the northern kingdom who had attacked back then. This time, the guardian attacked again. The news that the emperor of the Yufu kingdom and a few experts of the Yufu mountain had provoked the imperial power of the Northern Kingdom and were killed by the Guardian of the Northern Kingdom with a single sword strike spread throughout the world as the martial artists who saw the beast tide that night recounted it vividly. When the citizens of the Northern Kingdom heard this news, they heaved a long sigh of relief. Some of them set off firecrackers, while others beat gongs and drums to celebrate. Only a strong country would have peace. Only when the Northern Kingdom became stronger, and no one dared to invade it would the commoners have a good life. The Northern Kingdom, which had a powerful guardian, was really terrifyingly strong this time. In everyone's hearts, the Northern Kingdom was far inferior to the Yufu Kingdom. However, this time, the Northern Kingdom had made everyone look at it in a different light. All of this was because of a powerful guardian of the Northern Kingdom. It was because of him that the Great Empress could hold her head high and make the Northern Kingdom famous. Yufu Mountain was the first to receive this news. At that time, the sect master of the Yufu Mountain was drinking tea with his friends and chatting with them about how the emperor of the Yufu Kingdom came from the Yufu Mountain. He happened to hear his disciples telling him about it. The emperor of the Yufu Kingdom, Li Zhengya, a disciple of the Yufu Mountain, had led Marshal Uncle Wong and a few Marshal Saint experts and died in the wilderness of the Northern Kingdom. It was said that the guardian of the northern kingdom had taken action. When the sect master of the Yufu mountain heard this news, the teacup in his hand fell to the ground. The green tea splashed on his clothes, but he did not notice it. What? The guardian of the northern kingdom? He he killed Li Zhengye? 
the current ruler of the Yufu kingdom? The sect master of the Yufu mountain felt his ears buzz. This matter had blown up. Not only was Li Zhengye a former disciple of the Yufu mountain, but he was also the current emperor of the Yufu kingdom. He was also the favorite descendant of the old ancestor of the Yufu mountain. The Yufu kingdom only existed because of the Yufu mountain. The old ancestor of the Yufu mountain established the Yufu kingdom because some of his descendants did not have the talent for cultivation. It allowed his children and grandchildren, who were not talented to enjoy extreme wealth in the mortal world. It could be seen how protective the old ancestor of the Yufu mountain was. And this Li Zhengye, the only grandson that the old ancestor doted on the most, had died in the northern kingdom? Sect master, that's right. Junior brother Li and martial uncle Wang's corpses have already been sent back. Eva checked. It's them. They died from a sword piercing through their body. The disciple lowered his head, feeling uneasy. Something big was going to happen. It had been many years since anyone dared to be so disrespectful to Yufu Mountain. Something big was going to happen. It had been many years since anyone dared to be so disrespectful to Yufu Mountain. The last time a person provoked the people of Yufu Mountain, his bones became ashes. For thousands of years, the Yufu Mountain had remained standing. However, those who provoked it were no longer around. A guardian of the Northern Kingdom, which has only been established for a hundred years, is actually so bold. Ha ha, fortunately, the old ancestor hasn't come out of seclusion yet. Otherwise, who can stop his anger? Go and invite your foreign affairs hall's Marshal Uncle Mar over. Of course, we can't let this go. The sect master of the Yufu Mountain was still furious. His friend, who was sitting beside him, quickly stood up and bade farewell. After Marshal Uncle Ma came over, the sect master of the Yufu Mountain told his senior brother directly, The old ancestor is in seclusion. Don't disturb him. Go and make arrangements to destroy the northern kingdom. Kill that great empress and bury her with our martial nephew. The sect master of the Yufu Mountain said casually, He was a superior. If they could support the Yufu kingdom, they could destroy the northern kingdom. It was just a guardian, a slightly stronger martial saint. Yufu Mountain did not take him seriously at all. Xiaoyang was not too worried about the death of the emperor of the Yufu kingdom because she was completely focused on the white dragon. The white dragon was frightened by the Ba serpent and could not escape. In the end, it could only surrender and beg the Ba serpent to spare its life. However, Li Yuanqing took a look and gave it to Xiaoyang as a mount. The white dragon knew Li Yuanqing. It was because of him that he was lucky enough to escape from the Ba Serpent's mouth last time. This time, Li Yuanqing had saved it again. After finding out that great Empress Xiaoyang was Li Yuanqing's sister, the White Dragon finally saw hope. The Ba Serpent would only let it go if it followed great Empress Xiaoyang. Only then would it have a chance to live. Without any hesitation, the White Dragon followed Xiaoyang and other second grade Grotto Heaven Realm experts back to the Imperial City. However, Li Yuanqing still went to the entrance of the Wings Clan's cave in an extremely low-profile manner. This was because it was time for the entrance to the catacomb to loosen up every year. At this moment, Li Yuanqing was already at the 6th grade Grotto Heaven Realm. Although there were legends about him everywhere in the Northern Kingdom, almost no one knew who was the mysterious guardian of the Northern Kingdom. He had killed the expert of the Yufu Mountain and the emperor of the Yufu Kingdom. He was truly powerful. However, Li Yuanqing knew that the Yufu Mountain, the backer of the Yufu Kingdom, would not let the matter rest. They would definitely send people to destroy him. Keeping a low profile and taking the opportunity to gather his strength to soar into the sky was the way to go. Even if he was already at the 6th grade Grotto Heaven Realm, he still had to sign and continuously and master the proficiency of the few cultivation techniques in his hands to perfection, because only in this way, even if his realm was not especially high, he, who had so many treasures, could still try to challenge someone above his level. Especially the demon stone that Li Yuanqing had obtained from signing in at the catacomb last time. After studying it for a long time, he realized that this demon stone could disturb one's mind. In addition, the Saint Extermination Stone could also control the attack speed of experts within a certain range. Li Yuanqing felt that he should make good use of these two things. The reason why the Emperor of the Yufu Kingdom was so arrogant 
and even wanted to make Xiaoyang his concubine and annex the northern kingdom was because the old ancestor of the Yufu Mountain was standing behind him. The old ancestor of the Yufu Mountain had already lived for almost a thousand years. The lifespan of a martial saint was usually 500 years. It was very likely that this old ancestor had already broken through to the ninth grade Grotto Heaven realm. This was very troublesome. Moreover, according to rumors, this old ancestor of Yufu Mountain was said to be an invincible existence in the Grotto Heaven realm. Such strength was very impressive in the world. Therefore, after Xiaoyang left, Li Yuanqing ignored everything and continued to sign in and cultivate. He had to increase his strength as quickly as possible. Although there was news that this old ancestor Yufu Mountain had been in seclusion for decades and might even be in seclusion for 10 or 20 years, what if he came out soon? Li Yuanqing felt that it was better to be more cautious. It was safer to have more trump cards on him. Therefore, after coming to the exit of the catacomb this time, he immediately undid the seal on the exit. It was not like before where he would occasionally seal it. He sat at the entrance of the catacomb and waited for the demons to rush out before using them to increase his combat ability and cultivation. On the first day, there was no movement at the entrance of the catacomb. There was only the occasional aura of demons, but none of them dared to escape. After all, no demon had ever escaped from this exit. It was a place with the highest mortality rate. That's strange. Don't these demons want to come out? Are they all as timid as mice? Li Yuanqing was a little anxious after waiting for an entire day without any movement. He needed these demons to sign in, to use them as targets to practice, and to increase his strength. However, they were actually hiding and not coming out? Li Yuanqing was a little disappointed. He waited for another day, but no demon appeared. He was even more disappointed. After thinking for a while, he gritted his teeth and crushed two of each of the replenishment pills, the vitality reinforcement pill, and so on. He placed them by the entrance of the catacomb. Those demons were very cunning. How could he fish without bait? Li Yuanqing's guess was not wrong. Moreover, he had signed in a book of demon language, so he quickly figured out why those demons did not dare to come out of the cave. It turned out that many demons had a soul lamp. Those who came out of his hole were all killed by him. On the other hand, the demons who escaped from the other catacombs were free and happy in the human world. Therefore, the demons did not dare to come to this catacomb. It seems that if another demon comes up, at least I can't kill it and get what I want. After Li Yuanqing finally heard some whispers from the demons, he figured out the cause and effect. He sighed. He could only let himself be gentle later. He must not kill the demon who had the courage to escape from this hole. When those demons passed through the catacombs, they would also be injured. They needed to possess a body to come to the human world. Therefore, they were especially eager for healing pills. When they smelled the tempting fragrance of the wall breaker pill, many demons were tempted. Charge! Even if the exit of this catacomb is dangerous, we can attack together. I don't believe that someone has three heads and six arms at the exit. Besides, the spiritual energy has just recovered. How can there be so many experts in the human world? Some demons encouraged their companions to rush out with them. If there were more people, they might have a chance to live. Moreover, there was the fragrance of the medicinal pill. Once anyone snatched that treasure, they could quickly recover their strength after escaping to the human world. The spiritual energy in the world was slowly recovering. To them, it was an opportunity everywhere. This was the most important thing. Soon, a group of demons rushed out. However, this human would still stare at the hole from time to time and shake his head from time to time, as if he despised the fact that the demons that came out of the hole were too few and too slow. This person was too terrifying. They were all demons, but this person was even more terrifying than demons. Was he even human? He was simply inhuman. Some of the demons hanging on the stone walls were crying, but they could not die. Their soul lamps were still lit in the eyes. In the eyes of their companions in the catacombs, they were enjoying extreme happiness in the human world. They were carefree and unrestrained, making everyone envious. Therefore, countless demons wanted to rush out. However, the hole was too small. Only one demon could come out at a time. None of these demons were willing to give in to each other. Therefore, they would have a duel. 
Only the strongest demon could come out. The cunning demon was already bruised and swollen from being stepped on. His hoarse voice was still shouting. Everyone, wait a little longer. No one has been able to escape from catacomb number one exit for so many years. Why are there so many people going out this time? Be careful of traps. Before he could finish speaking, he was stepped on again. Someone pulled his hair and threw him to the back. He was afraid of traps, but not all the other demons are afraid of traps. He looked at the few demons who had gone out first. The soul lamp was burning brightly and showed no signs of extinguishing. What did this mean? As long as the soul lamp was not extinguished, their lives were still intact. This meant that the demons who had rushed out first were unimaginably living a happy life. It really made the demons envious. All the demons' eyes turned red as they rushed towards the entrance of the catacomb and started fighting. They wanted to defeat everyone and become the strongest. Then, he would rush out of the cave and go to the human world. The catacomb was in a mess. Li Yuanqing was counting the demons hanging on the stone wall in boredom. One, two, three. Don't move. Four, five. There were still too few demons. Moreover, only when the demon rushed out again would be able to sign in at the entrance of the catacombs and obtain the treasure. He cultivated so many cultivation techniques and had so many treasures. He had to use these demons to practice. Otherwise, his proficiency would not increase. I really need many, many demons. Hurry up and rush out. Li Yuanqing shouted in his heart. However, in order to snatch the first chance to go to the human world, the demons in the catacombs were already fighting each other. If you sneak attacked me, I would ambush you next. For a moment, it was difficult to determine who would win. It actually became a chaotic battle. No one could be the first to rush out of the catacomb. Occasionally, a demon would step on a companion and rush to the entrance of the catacomb. It was about to rush into the human world and the happiest place in their eyes. However, his companion suddenly grabbed his leg. Some demons even tried to stop him from going up so that they themselves could go up instead. They would bite his companion with his teeth, determined to drag him down. He could not give such a good opportunity to go to the human world to others. Only he could go up. There were too many similar scenes. When Li Yuanqing was bored from waiting, he took the opportunity to solve the multiple choice question for signing in. Host has successfully signed in to the catacombs. Reward, Demon Slayer Sword. 1. 100 Demon Slayer Swords. 2. 1 Supreme Mother Sword of the Demon Slayer Sword. This Demon Slayer Sword was quite useful against these demons. Because of this hundredfold reward, Li Yuanqing had received 200 swords. Today, he used the Demon Slayer Sword to hang those demons on the stone wall. The effect was very good. 200 Demon Slayer Swords were enough for the time being. A Mother Sword? If he chose this one, he would have the Demon Slayer Mother Sword, 200 Demon Slayer Swords, and the Demon Slayer Sword Array. Even if these demons rushed out of the entrance of the catacomb, they would still be under his control. Li Yuanqing had great use for these demons. After Li Yuanqing chose the Demon Slayer Mother Sword, a large and strengthened Demon Slayer Sword quickly appeared in his hand. The Mother Sword emitted a cold light. When it came out, all the Demon Slayer Swords let out a buzzing sound causing the demons nailed on the Demon Slayer Sword to feel a piercing pain. They were naturally in pain when the Demon Slayer Sword moved. How tragic. No demon would have thought that this would be the outcome after they fought to the death and defeated all their companions and opponents and escaped from the catacomb. And who was this person? What did he want? Could it be that he wanted to hang all the demons on this stone wall? Some demons looked at the stone wall in horror. It was such a huge stone wall so spacious and so tall. It would not be a problem even if thousands of demons hung on it. Thousands? He really wanted to die. He regrets it. Why did he have to rush out of the catacombs? Wouldn't it be better to be in the catacombs? Why did he have to come to the human world? Why would Li Yuanqing care what these demons were thinking? He waved the mother sword excitedly and summoned all the demon slayer swords that he had nurtured. Then, all the swords flew and circled around the mother sword in the hole. Suddenly, one of the demon slayer swords rushed towards the mother sword and quickly fused into one. Then, countless demon slayer swords rushed towards the mother sword and became one with it. 
The Demon Slayer sword that Li Yuan Qing had nurtured for a few years was not as powerful and proficient as his clear sky sword. However, the new Demon Slayer sword stunned Li Yuan Qing when more than a hundred Demon Slayer swords fused with the Mother Sword. This sword was too powerful. Disintegrate. However, for the next period of time, Li Yuan Qing planned to use the Demon Slayer sword to continue trapping those demons. Therefore, he quickly separated the Demon Slayer swords from the Mother Sword. The Demon Slayer sword separated from the Mother Sword in an instant with a thought from Li Yuan Qing. The Demon Slayer sword seemed to be even stronger after separating. This made Li Yuan Qing so happy that the corners of his mouth curled up. This time, he had spent a lot of effort to coax those demons out of the catacombs exit. As expected, he had gotten a hundred times better by signing in. This catacomb was a good place. He had to make good use of it. He would coax the demon out and squeeze out all its value. Marshal Uncle Ma, who had been ordered by the sect master of the Yufu Mountain sect to avenge Li Zhengya, had a headache. A catacomb had appeared in the Yufu kingdom. Countless demons wanted to escape from the cave. Yufu Mountain had already sent countless disciples to guard the exit, but there were still demons who escaped. Furthermore, the disciples guarding the exit suffered heavy casualties. Although there were many martial saints in the Yufu kingdom, there were not as many as cabbages. Last time, Li Zhengya had lost five martial saints, including him. Among them was a rare third-grade Grotto Heaven martial saint. There were also three martial saints from the Yufu kingdom. They also need one or two martial saints to be left in the palace to protect the prince and the empress dowager. Yufu Mountain had already lost two people last time. If he wanted to avenge Li Zhengya, he would need at least 6 to 7 second grade to 3rd grade martial saints to have the confidence to win. However, if so many experts were transferred away, there would be no one guarding the catacombs. The catacombs were the most dangerous place in the world, the most difficult place to guard. However, Li Zhengya was the grandson that the old ancestor doted on the most. He was also the emperor of the Yufu kingdom and the representative of the power of the Yufu mountain in the mortal world. He was killed just like that. It did not matter who was right or wrong. What was important was that the Yufu Mountain's reputation was seriously hurt. The old ancestor was in seclusion. If he came out of seclusion and found out that his grandson was dead, but his disciples did not take the initiative to avenge his grandson and restore the name of the Yufu Mountain, the sect master and others would probably be punished by the old ancestor. Their cultivation might be crippled and expelled from the Yufu Mountain. The catacombs were very important too, but was it more important than the grandson of the old ancestor? Even if the security of the catacombs had fallen and countless demons had escaped, those demons would not dare to go up the Yufu Mountain. At most, ordinary martial artists and commoners would suffer, but it would not affect the Yufu Mountain. After Marshal Uncle Ma figured this out, he immediately arranged for some of the disciples who were originally guarding the catacomb especially the disciples above the second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm, to follow him to take revenge on the Northern Kingdom. Since she dared to kill the Emperor of the Yufu Kingdom, then they would kill the ruler of the Northern Kingdom and let her die with Li Zhengya. From then on, there would be no Northern Kingdom in this world. This way, everyone would remember not to mess with Yufu Mountain. They could offend anyone, but they could not offend the immortals of the Yufu Mountain Marshal Uncle Ma was the senior brother of the sect master of the Yufu Mountain. No one dared to disobey his orders, even though there were also disciples who reminded him worriedly. Marshal Uncle, the catacombs are too dangerous. There are so many of us guarding it. But there are still demons who have escaped. If we transfer some experts to leave, we won't be able to defend these catacombs anymore. Don't blame us for not putting in the effort if we can't defend the catacombs. These disciples were afraid that they would be punished, so they discussed the conditions in advance. Otherwise, if something went wrong with the catacombs, they would be punished by the Yufu Mountain. That was a very serious matter. Sect Master and I both know that avenging your junior brother Lee at this time is related to the reputation of our Yufu Mountain. If we can't defend the catacombs, then so be it. It's not that we didn't try our best, but these demons are too powerful. Marshal Uncle Ma said coldly. The grandson of Yufu Mountain's old ancestor had been killed, and the reputation of Yufu Mountain had been trampled on. At this time, who cared about the demons? Even if those catacombs demons escaped, 
they would not seek death by going to the Yufu Mountain. At most, they would go to the famous mountains and rivers of the Yufu Kingdom to possess ordinary martial artists and torture the commoners. Yes, yes, we will follow Marshal Uncle Ma's orders. Speaking of which, the demons in the catacombs are really too powerful. The Yufu Kingdom respects our Jade Floating Mountain. However, our Yufu Mountain is not the only one supporting the Yufu Kingdom. Many aristocratic families did too. They did not move, so there's no need for us to do anything. That's right, that's right. Our disciples of the Yufu Mountain have all been killed and we haven't taken revenge yet. Who has the mood to care about these catacombs? Many Yufu Mountain disciples shouted. The demons in the catacombs were too powerful. Even if they guarded here, they would suffer heavy casualties. Many smart and cunning disciples tried their best to shirk responsibility. Marshal Uncle Ma had even come out to say such words, even taking out some of the disciples. Only a fool would guard this place to the death and be afraid here. There were originally ten Marshal Saint disciples guarding the catacomb day and night, and five Marshal Saint disciples guarding it in shifts. After Marshal Uncle Ma transferred seven of the strongest disciples, there were only eight disciples left in the catacombs. A disciple at the second grade Grotto Heaven Realm was the leader. These people could not deal with those demons at all, and because of Marshal Uncle Ma's words, these disciples also turned a blind eye. As a result, more and more demons rushed out from catacomb number two. The catacombs were also connected. Currently, there are four exits. Catacomb number one of the Northern Kingdom was the earliest exit. In the past, no demon had escaped alive. However, in the past few days, all the soul lamps of the demons that had left catacomb number one had not been extinguished. Therefore, when there were demons who spread the news that the guards at the entrance of catacomb number two were weak and that the chances of escaping from there were very high, the demons at the entrance of catacomb number one were dismissive. They told them proudly, That's nothing. All the demons that left catacomb number one have escaped. None of them died. This is the safest exit. Information like this was widely spread in the catacombs. This made the demons at the entrance of catacomb number three and number four restless. This was because the exit of catacomb number three and number four was in the Myriad City Kingdom. Although there were two exits in the Myriad City Kingdom, the chances of those demons escaping were very low. Catacomb number three and number four were just second only to catacomb number one, which was of a hell level. Since the chances of escaping from number one and number two were so high, the demons at the entrance of number three and number four had also begun to move. They began to move towards the entrance of the catacomb number one and number two. Soon, they realized that none of the demons that went out of the catacomb number one had their soul lamps extinguished. Usually, only two out of three demons would be able to escape from catacomb number two. There would still be one unlucky person who would be killed and the soul lamp was extinguished. Therefore, below the catacombs, they quickly came to a conclusion. Among all the entrances to the catacombs, number one was the safest. If they wanted to go to the human world and enjoy the benefits of the recovery of the spiritual energy, they had to go to catacomb number one. One, two, three, four. Li Yuanqing was still counting the demons hanging on the stone wall. The effects of the past two days had been pretty good. Although many of these demons had been beaten until their heads were bleeding, at least they did not need him to release bait and could come out continuously. Good, this was a good thing. He liked to count every once in a while too. The more he counted, the happier he was. Li Yuanqing counted the demons hanging on the demon slayer swords, and some of them cursed. Who are you? Put me down now. What do you want? I'll kill you. No, I'll bite your flesh into pieces and swallow it all. I want to drink your blood. I want to drink the last drop of your blood. I want your body. No one can snatch such a perfect body from me. The demons that Li Yuanqing hung on the stone walls hated him to the core and wanted to bite his flesh and drink his blood. It was him who had shattered their dreams of going to the human world. They had waited for thousands of years for the recovery of spiritual energy. Some had even waited for 10,000 years. Ha ha ha, you want to come down? All right, after I capture more demons, I'll definitely let you down. Everyone has a chance to come down. Li Wanqing smilata pili. Of course, for safety reasons, these demons were stabbed by the demon slayer sword. 
There was also a heavenly demon extinguishing array outside the cave. With these things, unless Li Yuan Qing lets them down, otherwise, ha ha ha. Li Yuan Qing's current strength is at the sixth grade Grotto Heaven Realm. He also actively signed in every day and obtained many treasures. There were also many cultivation techniques that required actual combat to increase one's proficiency. However, he did not have any opponents in the Northern Kingdom. Even the strongest, Zhao Yang and Wang Xian, could not be considered his underlings compared to him. An expert was lonely. Where could he find a sparring partner? It was naturally these demons who had escaped from the catacombs. They were powerful, and he wasn't afraid of killing them easily. Most importantly, with these demons around, Li Yuanqing could easily sign in at the entrance of the catacombs. These demons were equivalent to giving him benefits and treasures. To Li Yuanqing, the more the better. Therefore, when Li Yuanqing saw that the stone wall was filled with demons, he looked left and right and chose the most energetic and fierce demon. Although this demon had been stabbed by the demon slayer sword, he was still in good spirits because Li Yuanqing had avoided his vital points. He cursed at Li Yuanqing after being released from the stone wall. Who are you? Don't you know how powerful I am? I'm the city lord of the catacombs Sun Moon City. How dare you capture me? You, the city lord of Sun Moon City? Li Yuanqing sized up this demon that was baring its fangs and brandishing its claws in front of him. To them, all these demons who escaped from the catacomb were all called demons. Actually, it was just like how the demons in the catacombs looked at the human world. The demons called them humans, but every human was different just like how every demon was different. These demon species were a little different from humans. Most of the time, they were similar to some half-human and half-beast creatures. They relied on their bloodline and almost did not need to cultivate to be much stronger than humans. However, the situation in the catacombs seemed to be very bad. There would be fights for territories, and then cities would be constantly plundered by others. Then, the former vagrants would become city lords. Of course, it was normal for a defeated city lord to become a vagrant overnight. This demon was actually the city lord of the Sun Moon City. He was probably also a defeated city lord. Then, he wanted to take advantage of the recovery of the spiritual energy in the human world and the loosening of the entrance to the catacombs to come to the human world. However, he did not expect that he would be even more unlucky when he arrived at the entrance of the catacombs. He was thrown into the empty space in the cave by Li Yuanqing and was beaten up. The city lord of Sun Moon City was a ruthless person among demons. He was the first to rush out. After he was put down, countless pairs of demon eyes looked at him in unison. Their eyes were filled with anticipation, hoping that he could kill Li Yuanqing and escape. These demons were filled with hope and were even cheering for the city lord of Sun Moon City despite being injured. Kill him. I'll come down and take a bite later. Injure him and possess his body. Although this body isn't strong, it's handsome enough. Kill, kill, kill. Tear him into pieces. These demons hated Li Yuanqing to the core. At this moment, they wished they could eat his flesh and drink his blood. However, these shouts stopped when Li Yuanqing stepped on the city lord of Sun Moon City. All the demons were stunned. This person was too strong. He had only used one move. How could he be subdued by him? What was that thing in his hand? All the demons were dumbfounded. Wasn't the spiritual energy of the human world just recovered? Why was there such a powerful human? He had defeated the strongest demon in one move? I'm not convinced. Again, again. The city lord of Sun Moon City's face flushed red as he flew into a rage. He was still shouting when Li Yuanqing stepped on him. Li Wanqing Lauga. Ha ha. He loved such sparring partners and whetstones the most. His knife would become sharper and sharper with such a whetstone as a sparring partner. Moreover, he discovered that the Saint Extermination Stone, which had reached pinnacle level, could control this demon's movements for an instant. This instant was the greatest flaw. His opponent could not move. Was there a better chance than this? Moreover, Li Yuanqing's demon subduing palm had also reached the pinnacle level. He took advantage of the moment when the demon was controlled by the Saint Extermination Stone to give him a punch. The demon who claimed to be the city lord of Sun Moon City was seeing stars and couldn't tell directions, but he was still shouting. I'm not convinced. Again. 
This was great. Li Yuanqing liked such a tough nut to crack. The shadowless art had made him disappear. In the next moment, he held the clear sky sword and slashed the demon the moment he approached him. This attack almost split this demon into two. It was only because Li Yuanqing showed mercy that the demon still had a chance to breathe. This time, all the demons hanging on the stone wall were stunned. No one dared to shout or cheer. No one dared to stare down because the demon city lord was too miserable. He was covered in blood, and his entire body was about to be split into two. He was on the verge of death. He wanted to shout that he was unconvinced, but unfortunately, he could not say it. Li Yuanqing sneered and threw the demon to the side of the cave so that he could heal himself. Then, he meditated and cultivated by the entrance of the cave. The demons hanging on the stone wall looked at Li Yuanqing differently now. A demon? The human below was a demon. They were nothing compared to him, and they were really pitiful. The next day, Li Yuanqing looked at the stone wall and put down another demon for him to spar with. There were demons hanging on it that did not even dare to blink at Li Yuanqing. Some demons were studying his cultivation technique and attack methods. They were thinking that they would definitely be stronger than them if it was their turn. Unfortunately, this was only their beautiful wish. The next day, another demon that was almost beaten to death by Li Yuanqing was thrown to the side of the hole like a dead dog. On the third day, as usual, although there were demons studying Li Yuanqing's attack methods, they did not know that the Saint Extermination Stone controlled their actions within a certain range. Li Yuanqing's shadowless art and sand escape technique could be used to escape, but it could also be used to attack. He would occasionally use the demon subduing palm. Sometimes, he didn't even need the clear sky sword. He didn't need the demon slayer sword either. The demons hanging on the stone walls clearly saw their companions being tortured by Li Yuanqing until they were on the verge of death. Every move he made did not seem difficult to resist. But when it was their turn, they realized that it was all an illusion. Li Yuanqing was too fast. However, when they faced Li Yuanqing, it was as if something was holding them back. They could not keep up with the other party's speed at all. At that time, they clearly knew what his next move was, but they could not dodge it. What despair! Li Yuanqing put down the demons hanging on the stone wall one by one. In the beginning, those demons still wanted to defeat Li Yuanqing and escape from this hole. However, as time passed, all the demons were tortured by Li Yuanqing. What made those demons despair was that this great demon was getting faster and faster, and they were getting slower and slower because they were all injured. This gap was getting bigger and bigger, so big that it made them despair. Extreme despair. Why did they have to escape from catacomb number one? Meeting such a demon was their lifelong nightmare. However, Li Yuanqing did not let them off either. He would hang those whose injuries were slightly better on the stone wall and let down a few demons to spar with them every day. Occasionally, one or two unlucky fellows would be released by Li Yuanqing and hung on the stone wall. These demons were about to go crazy as the number of demons increased. They looked at Li Yuanqing more and more strangely. The person these demons hated the most was Li Yuanqing. They had never seen such a detestable mortal. However, they had no choice. All the demons had no choice because they could not win. Every demon had been injured twice by Li Yuanqing. If the first time was an accident and they were ambushed, then the second time they were injured and thrown into a corner, they were completely defeated. They really couldn't beat him. Even though they hated Li Yuanqing to the core, they still couldn't do anything to him. In the remaining days, Li Yuanqing was addicted to practicing with these demons. Day after day, month after month, he almost forgot to return to the wilderness valley until no more demons came out of the catacomb. The demons that he had hanged on the stone walls of the cave were mostly on their last breaths. They did not even have the courage to look at him. They don't even have the strength to curse him like the beginning. How boring. These demons have no guts at all. Li Yuanqing was a little melancholic. It was too disappointing. In the end, he counted the number of demons he had captured. There were a total of 181 of them. These demons were all pitiful and extremely obedient every day. Even if they were stabbed by him, they would remain silent and become very numb. These demons were even more obedient than the most honest and timid little girl in front of him. This disappointed Li Yuanqing, who had wanted to use them as whetstones. 
Most importantly, he could no longer sign in at the exit of the catacombs. These demons lost their meaning to live. Initially, Li Yuanqing wanted to kill them all, but when he found out that the bottom of the catacombs was very big and that there was more than one exit in the human world, he might as well lecture them. I can let you go, but remember, if I see anyone who dares to cause trouble in the Northern Kingdom again, I will definitely not let them off. I will tear them into pieces and destroy their souls. Li Yuanqing's words finally ignited a little hope in the originally numb eyes of the demons. When they heard that this was the Northern Kingdom and that this great demon did not allow them to cause trouble here, they nodded desperately and were about to cry. If they had a chance to leave this place alive, they would naturally run as far away from this great demon as possible in this lifetime. The human world was very beautiful, but they could not meet this demon. He was too terrifying. He was their nightmare. They had to remember that the great demon king was in the northern kingdom even if they died. This was a taboo. You must be indignant that you're trapped here by me and think that I'm taking advantage of the situation. Today, I'll give you a chance. I'll put all of you down and let you surround me. If you can win, you can walk out of there. If you lose, all of you will obediently return to the catacombs. Li Yuanqing planned to release so many demons back into the catacombs. With their publicity, the Northern Kingdom would probably become a taboo in the hearts of the demons in the catacombs. Li Yuanqing planned to torture them in order to intimidate them and leave an eternal trauma in their hearts. Let these demons understand a principle. The Northern Kingdom had experts that could never be offended. As soon as Li Yuanqing said this, the demons who had been silent looked at each other and saw hope in each other's eyes. Let's do it. There were 180 of them. Even if they were injured, they were still demons in the catacombs. There was a demon who had once been the city lord of Sun Moon City. No matter how bad they were, these hundred or so demons would definitely win against the great demon king. Hope ignited in the hearts of all the demons. They wanted to take revenge for the humiliation they had suffered these past few days. They wanted to win. When Li Yuanqing put down all the demons, the originally spacious cave suddenly became crowded. Li Yuanqing was surrounded by all the demons. Layer after layer, all the demons only had one thought in their hearts. Kill him, tear him into pieces, and devour his flesh and blood. Countless demons rushed forward, disregarding everything. There were many demonic shadows in the cave, and the temperature became higher. Suddenly, white light shone brightly, and the mother sword of the demon slayer sword flew to the top of the cave. Then, demon slayer swords were separated from the mother sword. At this moment, Li Yuanqing had already thrown out the Saint Extermination Stone in his hand. Li Yuanqing had already mastered the usage of the Saint Extermination Stone. Coupled with the speed of the sand escape technique, Li Yuanqing, who was using the shadowless art, disappeared in the next second. Li Yuanqing, who was surrounded by all the demons, had disappeared. Disappeared without a trace. Great Demon King, Great Demon King, he's gone. Run. If even one can escape, it will be our victory. Someone shouted and turned around to run towards the exit of the cave. However, before they could take three steps, the demon slayer swords had already accurately stabbed towards the demons again. Moreover, the hundred or so demon slayer swords seemed to have eyes. Each sword corresponded to a demon. None of the 180 demons had escaped from the cave. The former city lord of Sun Moon City was stunned when he saw the demon slayer swords flying around. The great demon king was too terrifying. He did not want to see this person in this life again. He turned around and fled to the catacombs. The place that he had once desperately wanted to leave felt like heaven compared to this place. When he fled to the catacombs, this demon's face was covered in tears. In this life and the next life, he swore that he would never step into the northern kingdom. When he heard the name of the great demon king, he would flee as far as he could. His experience during this period of time made him understand one thing. The great demon king was simply their nemesis. Compared to him, the methods of demons were like the purest and kindest child. The catacomb number one was a taboo. He had to inform everyone that no one could come here. The remaining demons who were stabbed by Li Yuanqing's demon slayer swords fell to the ground one by one, their faces dejected and cold. 
If more than a hundred of them couldn't defeat him, they might as well kill themselves. Forget it. Forget it. They probably had no hope of fighting the great demon king in this lifetime. They only hoped to stay as far away from the great demon king as possible. Even if they returned to the catacombs, it would be a good thing for them. In the end, these demons lined up obediently. They were covered in wounds, and their hearts were filled with endless grievance and fear for Li Yuanqing. After Li Yuanqing used the demon sealing sword formation to reseal the exit of Catacomb Number 1, he set up the heavenly demon slayer formation outside. After settling these, he sat down again to cultivate. Three days later, when Li Yuanqing stood up again, he was already at the seventh grade Grotto Heaven Realm. Over the past few months, Using these hundred demons as whetstones as sparring partners had already greatly increased his cultivation. Advancing again was just a matter of time. When Li Yuanqing left the cave, he took a walk around the area. At this moment, there were no more Wings clan in the Northern Kingdom. There were fewer and fewer Li clansmen, including the Chang clan. In any case, they were all citizens of the Northern Kingdom and had all entered the Free Martial Arts Academy. Qin Feng was guarding the border of the Yufu kingdom. When Qin Feng was a general in the wilderness encampment in the past, he had done very well. Everything was in order now that he was here to guard the border. He was a rare talent. No one here knew Li Yuanqing. As he walked on the street where the Wings clan used to live, he saw a group of students from the martial arts academy walking over happily with a vicious beast. Those students were all young and already had a bloody aura on them. They should have seen blood before. This reminded Li Yuanqing of the martial arts academy students he had met at the edge of the wilderness. It seemed that the lesson that time was not bad. These students were changing. The desolate place that had once been affected by the War of the Wings clan had slowly recovered its prosperity and vitality. As the recovery of spiritual energy slowly approached, even the border of the northern kingdom was filled with lush vegetation. Even if it was just a tree, it was abnormally energetic and was hundreds of meters tall. This was something that Li Yuanqing had never seen before. Selling vicious beasts, selling pets, there are high-grade natural treasures. Come and take a look. Eat one of my white pulp fruits. I guarantee that you will be able to step into the realm of a martial artist in one step. You will be able to cultivate immediately and live to a hundred years old. The streets were bustling with activity. Someone was hawking all kinds of goods. Li Yuanqing casually glanced at them after he heard these voices. As the spiritual energy in the air became richer and richer, plants and animals were mutating. Even humans were changing. In the past, there were not many martial artists who could cultivate. It was difficult for even one in a thousand ordinary people to cultivate. But now, one in ten people could cultivate. The remaining nine who could not cultivate could easily live to a hundred years old. It could be said that the second reign of blood was quietly changing this world. Li Yuanqing calculated in his heart. The third reign of blood should be coming soon. The northern kingdom was not harmed by the demons of the catacombs. In addition, Great Empress Xiaoyang was wise. The lives of the commoners seemed to be better after the spiritual energy recovered. Li Yuanqing left the border in a good mood and returned to the small valley in the wilderness. He was already at the seventh grade Grotto Heaven Realm. If nothing major happened in the Northern Kingdom, he would have to continue signing in to cultivate and strive to enter the ninth grade Grotto Heaven Realm as soon as possible. He would even use the next blood rain to enter the next realm of the Martial Saint, the Spirit Transformation Realm. In the following days, Li Yuanqing continued to sign in and cultivate. When Wang Shun saw him return, he sent him food every three to five days like before. However, this peace did not last long. This peace was broken again with Great Empress Xiaoyang's sudden visit. When Xiaoyang came, she rode the White Dragon. It would be even easier for Xiaoyang to travel between the palace and the wilderness with it. When the White Dragon arrived at the valley and saw Li Yuanqing, it wriggled its body in a fawning manner. It probably wanted to wag its tail. Unfortunately, its tail had long been devoured by the little boss serpent. Moreover, Li Yuanqing did not even look at it. This made the white dragon very depressed, but it did not dare to show it. The man in front of it was really too terrifying. His pet had tortured it to death and almost swallowed it. Xiaoyang's expression was very ugly. When she saw Li Yuanqing, 
She still shouted affectionately, Big brother, something happened. The Yufu Mountain wants me to die with Li Zhengya. They want to erase the Northern Kingdom and say that it will be merged with the Yufu Kingdom. In the future, the people of the Yufu Mountain will be in charge. Yufu Mountain's conditions were quite domineering. No one would agree. They were high and mighty and simply treated the Northern Kingdom like an ant. After all, the Yufu Mountain had existed for more than a thousand years. The Emperor of the Yufu Kingdom, Li Zhengya, was their puppet. In fact, Xiaoyang knew very well that such a day would come when she killed Li Zhengya. However, at that time, Xiaoyang was still calculating in her heart that the demons that came out of the catacomb at the exit of the Yufu Kingdom had restrained most of the energy of the Yufu Mountain. The old ancestor of the Yufu Mountain had been in seclusion for decades and would not come out for a while. The remaining powerful disciples of the Yufu Mountain had been sent to guard the catacombs. The emperor of the Yufu Kingdom, Li Zhengya, had done something that angered the heavens and the people. The northern kingdom was slowly prospering. She was still thinking that with the recovery of spiritual energy, perhaps in 10 or 20 years, when the Yufu Mountain recovered, the northern kingdom would also become stronger. At that time, the northern kingdom would not have to fear the revenge of the Yufu Mountain. Big brother, you definitely didn't expect that the people of the Yufu Mountain would actually transfer a large number of disciples guarding the catacombs to take revenge on the Northern Kingdom. What should we do? The one we angered this time is the Yufu Mountain. Xiaoyang was a little anxious at this moment. It had been very difficult for the Northern Kingdom all these years. Although the people were living and working in peace, many things that they encountered and even endangered the survival of the country were almost all resolved by her big brother. However, this time was different. This time, they were facing the entire Yufu Mountain. A Yufu Mountain that could casually support a country, and they had a patriarch who was known to be invincible in the Grotto Heaven realm. This time, the Northern Kingdom might not be able to protect itself. This was because this was not something that could be achieved by relying on numbers. This was a competition between the highest cultivators. The Yufu Mountain was once called an immortal mountain. They're not even guarding the catacomb anymore, but are looking for us to take revenge? This Yufu Mountain is not popular and is about to be finished. Such a sect actually dares to target you and let you die with them? Ah, Li Wanking Snarat. He was very low-key and cautious. He had never thought of dealing with the Yufu Mountain. But if they wanted to die, he could not stop them. Go back and wait for my good news. It should be fine. You can govern the country in peace and nurture the power that belongs to the Northern Kingdom. Li Yuanqing was waiting for the third blood rain. Moreover, he still wanted to break through to the spirit transformation realm. When he really reached this realm, he might walk around the world. Moreover, Xiaoyang would have to think of a way to resolve it herself if they encountered any danger after the Northern Kingdom slowly became stronger. She could not rely on him for everything. The Northern Kingdom would not be able to rise up if he supported the Northern Kingdom for decades or centuries. Then the Northern Kingdom deserved to be annexed by another powerful country. Yes, big brother. I know. You have to be careful. If you can't do it, remember to protect yourself. Although there are millions of people in the Northern Kingdom, I only have you. Xiaoyang looked at Li Yuanqing worriedly. Her big brother said it casually, but Xiaoyang knew the strength of the Yufu Mountain. Back then, they had just casually established a mortal country for the descendants of the Yufu Mountain's old ancestor. If they wanted to expand, the Northern Kingdom would have long ceased to exist. The invincible patriarch Yufu Mountain was a godlike existence to Xiaoyang. He was too powerful. Even if the Northern Kingdom was thriving now, it only had a second grade Grotto Heaven Realm martial saint. The first to ninth grades of the Grotto Heaven Realm was a huge chasm in each level. If not for the fact that there were more martial saints in the Northern Kingdom after the spiritual energy recovery, back then, a martial saint could create a country and become the ancestor of this country. This was the case for the founding ancestor of the Northern Kingdom. The founding ancestor's strength was still at the first stage Grotto Heaven Realm, while the Yufu Mountain's old ancestor was invincible from the first to ninth grades of Grotto Heaven Realm. This kind of strength was too terrifying. That was why Xiaoyang was so worried. It's fine. Don't worry and return to the Imperial City. I'll take care of everything in the Northern Kingdom. Back then, 
I dared to kill the emperor of the Yufu kingdom. I expected this day to come. Li Yuanqing did not care. He had already expected today's matter. After killing the emperor of the Yufu kingdom, the Yufu mountain would definitely not let the matter rest. However, he would not let off anyone who dared to humiliate his sister Zhaoyang. Not to mention the grandson of the Patriarch of Yufu Mountain, he would not hesitate to attack even Patriarch of the Yufu Mountain back then. Humans always had some weaknesses. There were some things that they would do even if they knew that it was impossible. Even someone as cautious as him dared to take the risk. How could he not consider everything? Zhao Yang's tense heart finally relaxed after she heard Li Yuanqing's repeated promises. A smile that he had not seen for a long time appeared on her face. It was so sweet that even flowers paled in comparison. Li Yuanqing's mood instantly improved. He couldn't help but rub Zhao Yang's smooth and bright hair. Even though Zhao Yang had become the great empress, but in his heart, she was still his cute and warm little sister. Your hair is very soft. It looks good on your shoulders. Li Yuanqing's words were engraved in Zhao Yang's heart. Her brother said that her hair looked good on her, so when she saw her brother in the future, it would definitely let it down. Because in this world, the only person who treated her the best and closest was her eldest brother. After sending Zhao Yang off, Li Yuanqing began to prepare to leave for the Yufu Kingdom. Since the Yufu Kingdom dared to make such an unreasonable request to Zhao Yang, he planned to kill his way to the Yufu Mountain as soon as possible and let the people of the Yufu Mountain understand a principle. Some people could be threatened, but some people were not afraid of the Yufu Mountain. Since you are unreasonable and dare to use your martial strength to threaten others, then there is no reason to speak reasonably. Let's see whose fist is stronger. He brought the Clear Sky Sword and the Demon Slayer Swords. He also brought the Saint Extermination Stone. He even summoned the Little Boss Serpent and prepared to ride it to the Yufu Mountain. This was fast enough. However, before he left, he hesitated for a moment because the third inner demon seed in his hand had already been refined. The first inner demon seed was planted on Hu Jujio, and the second inner demon seed was planted on the little boss serpent. These two inner demon seeds were very effective. He had not found a suitable candidate for the third inner seed. It would be great if he could find a powerful puppet that he could control and attack the Yufu Mountain together. However, time was tight, and there were no suitable candidates for the time being. Li Yuanqing also wanted to leave for the Yufu Mountain immediately. Therefore, he could only keep the inner demon seed for the time being. He would use the third inner demon seed when he met the right person. The little boss serpent was already the beast king of the entire wilderness. It grew larger and larger. When it soared into the sky, it looked down at the wilderness. The entire sky above the wilderness turned dark. All the vicious beasts were crawling on the ground and trembling. Even the white dragon, who was far away in the imperial city, felt a chill run down its spine. He kept hiding behind great Empress Xiaoyang, afraid. Li Yuanqing, who was standing on the back of the little boss serpent, watched as the little boss serpent released its pressure in the sky above the wilderness. It rolled around in the clouds a few times as if it was showing off. It only revealed half of its body and it scared the vicious beasts in the wilderness so much that some of them did not even dare to come out of their caves. The scene was a little shocking when all the vicious beasts in the wilderness were howling. Stop fooling around and leave. We're in a hurry. Li Yuanqing said impatiently as he looked at the little Ba serpent that was getting more and more energetic. This little Ba serpent had been causing a ruckus in the sky above the wilderness for more than two hours. Some of the more timid dire beasts were abnormally uneasy. Li Yuanqing even saw some vicious beasts unable to withstand the pressure and fighting each other. Some of them jumped into the river one after another, and some even led their species to run everywhere. If the little boss serpent continued to cause trouble, some vicious beasts might be frightened to death. It was those bastards on the Yufu Mountain who had offended Zhaoyang. What did it have to do with these vicious beasts in the wilderness? There was no need to vent his anger on beasts. Although the little boss serpent was eager to show off, Li Yuanqing's words made it instantly obedient. It carried him and Hu Jujio towards the Yufu Mountain. Cow, which was on the ground, was wailing. It also wanted to go with Li Yuanqing. Unfortunately, the little boss serpent did not let it come up. It was so angry that after the boss serpent left, it decided to fight with vicious beasts in the wilderness. 
It was holding back its anger. The little boss serpent looked down on it, but this did not stop it from looking down on other defeated opponents. The vicious beasts of the wilderness suffered again with the arrival of Cal. The wilderness was more than tens of thousands of kilometers away from the Yufu Mountain. If one rode a horse alone, they would probably not be able to reach the Yufu Mountain in a year or so. However, it was much easier with the little Ba Serpent. Its body could move so fast that it was unbelievable. Li Yuanqing, who was standing on the back of the little Ba Serpent, was bored as he calculated in his heart. Who else was suitable for him to plant the third inner demon seed? What a pity. I shouldn't have stabbed Yufu's martial uncle Wong to death the last time. If I had planted the inner demon seed in him back then, I would at least have another servant. Not like now where I did not have anyone to use now. After thinking about it, Li Yuanqing actually felt a little regretful. After an unknown period of time, Hu Juju jumped into Li Yuanqing's arms from his shoulder as if she was looking for a warm place. Thinking that Hu Juju had become like this because of him, Li Yuanqing ignored it and let her hide in his arms to avoid being blown by the wind. At the same time, he touched Hu Jujio's red fur. Yes, it was very soft and comfortable. Hu Jujio narrowed her foxy eyes and lay docile in Li Yuanqing's arms. She would look ahead from time to time. It was really a little far from the wilderness to the Yufu Mountain. The demons that Li Yuanqing had thrown back into the catacomb gathered together again. The tragic encounter of being abused by Li Yuanqing made them feel united. After recuperating from their injuries, they asked around and found out that there were four exits to the catacombs. Catacomb number one of the Northern Kingdom was a taboo. It was a nightmare in the hearts of all demons. They did not even consider it. The exit of catacomb number two was in the Yufu Kingdom. It was said that more and more demons had escaped. Compared to the exits of catacomb number three and number three, it was already the best and safest exit of the catacombs. Therefore, these 180 demons gathered again and attacked the exit of catacomb number two together. It was difficult for them to work together, but they did not expect to rush out of catacomb number two so easily. When they took their first breath of air in the human world, they were just short of roaring into the sky three times. They were finally out. They had finally escaped from that great demon and returned to the human world. Quick! Quick. The first thing they had to do now was to immediately find a body that they could possess and occupy a human body. Only then could they hide in the human world. Then, they would wait for the spiritual energy to recover and enjoy the greatest benefits. After these demons rushed out of the catacomb, they had to search everywhere for bodies to possess. Some demons would rush forward as long as they encountered humans, be it ordinary people or martial artists. Quickly seize possession. However, the demons who had been tortured by Li Yuanqing had different thoughts. They had seen how powerful human experts were. They knew that the higher the cultivation level of the person they chose to possess, the higher their future achievements. Then who had the highest cultivation level around the catacomb? Without a doubt, the disciples of the catacombs guarding the Yufu Mountain had the highest cultivation level, and their physical talent was naturally the best. These demons had their eyes on the disciples of the Yufu Mountain, especially the former city lord of Sun Moon City. He swore that he would definitely choose the best body to possess in the human world. Then, he would cultivate well and strive to become Li Yuanqing's enemy one day. However, he felt that it was already very impressive to be able to reach Li Yuanqing's level after possession. Therefore, his target was the disciples of the Yufu Mountain. If one of them didn't work, he would keep an eye on the next one. Even if it took a little longer, as long as he persevered, he would definitely reach his goal. Soon, some of the demons had successfully possessed their bodies. After they displayed their astonishing strength, many hidden forces of the Yufu kingdom began to extend an olive branch to them. There were forces that were willing to offer cultivation resources to them, and they were also willing to pay for their lives. They were even willing to worship them as long as they occasionally helped those forces expand or solve problems. These demons naturally agreed readily. Soon, these demons who had escaped from the catacombs and had new identities became the consecrators or elders of a certain sect. There were also some who became elders of some aristocratic family or faction. For a time, these demons had a very good place to go. This made them very satisfied. However, there was still an unforgettable taboo in their hearts. 
Those were the words that the great demon of the northern kingdom had once warned them. They could not step into the northern kingdom in this life. Therefore, after a certain demon enjoyed the great benefits given by a certain faction, he was overjoyed and boasted about his strength. This made the upper echelons of that faction abnormally happy. They all encouraged the demon to go to the northern kingdom because the northern kingdom was already being watched by the Yufu Mountain. Everyone in the world knew that the country targeted by the Yufu Mountain would be completely wiped out soon. Once a new regime was established, there would definitely be a fight. They had this demon backing them now. If they could seize the initiative, the regime established in the northern kingdom might completely become their puppet. Who knew that the expression of the demon, who was so powerful, changed when he heard about the northern kingdom. The northern kingdom. No, I can't step into the territory of the northern kingdom for the rest of my life. I'll stay away as far as I can. If you're persuading me, don't blame me for being rude. The demon was extremely flustered. He was not afraid of anything but that great demon. He was in the northern kingdom. The higher-ups of that faction were still unwilling to give up. They continued to persuade this demon to attack the northern kingdom because the strength revealed by the demon was too high. However, before the higher-ups of this faction could continue persuading him, the demon actually left without saying goodbye. This made all the higher-ups of that faction completely collapse. Damn it, this fellow had taken away a lot of their things. They just wanted to persuade him to go to the northern kingdom, but he actually ran away? Even if you really didn't want to go, just say the word. You don't have to run away overnight. They really went for wool and came home shorn. There was actually more than one such thing. All of this happened when Li Yuanqing was cultivating in the wilderness valley. Li Yuanqing did not know about it. At this moment, he was standing on the back of the little Ba Serpent and looking at a towering mountain in the distance. The snow on it had yet to melt. The red plums on the mountain were covered by the snow, making them look exceptionally beautiful. When the snow landed on the rocks on the mountain, they were really as beautiful as jade. On the mountainside, peach blossoms bloomed, while the foot of the mountain was lush and green like early summer. The Yufu Mountain was tall. There were four seasons on the mountain, and every step they took was a different scenery. It was very famous in the Yufu Kingdom. Before Li Yuanqing arrived, he had already sensed the difference. Spiritual energy. The spiritual energy here was very dense. No wonder the disciples of the Yufu Mountain could produce so many martial saints and have an invincible ancestor in the Grotto Heaven Realm. To be able to support the emperor of the Yufu Kingdom without any scruples, he must have occupied a treasure land, the Yufu Mountain, and had some tricks up his sleeve. Little Boss Serpent, let's go. Li Yuanqing was not too surprised when he saw the strength revealed by Yufu Mountain. He had once checked on the old ancestor of Yufu Mountain, who was in seclusion to break through to the spirit transformation realm. He had not appeared for decades. It was almost like stepping into another world from the ninth grade Grotto Heaven Realm to the spirit transformation realm. It was extremely important to martial saints. In fact, Li Yuanqing even wondered if this old ancestor of Yufu Mountain had failed to break through to the spirit transformation realm and was no longer around. This situation was not unheard of. For example, the old ancestor of the Northern Kingdom was in such a situation. Of course, all of this was just a guess. Li Yuanqing had to adapt to the situation after he reached the Yufu Mountain.